Welcome. So I wanted to show this problem. It's, it is as simple as it looks uh, to determine the nth rule uh, for a geometric sequence. And in this geometric sequence, we know that the first term is 3, and the ratio is 1 half. That means to get to the next term, I'm going to have to multiply by 1 half. So 3 times 1 half would be 3 halves. And then I multiply by 1 half again to get to the next term. Um, so what they're asking us is, well, that was I found out the first term and the second term. What if I wanted to figure out the hundredth term? So to do that, we have this general rule. And the nth term is the term that is unknown, what, we, what term in the sequence we want to figure out. So to figure that, um, to write the rule, we need to know what a sub 1 and what a sub 3 and what r is. Well, fortunately for us, that's provided in this example. So I have a sub n equals a sub 1, which is 3, times r, which is 1 half, raised to the n minus 1. Therefore, if I want to find the 10th term in the sequence, I would just plug 10 in for n. If I wanted to find the 3,000th term, I would just plug in 3,000 in for n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the nth rule of a geometric sequence. Thanks.